hello friends welcome back to my channel today we have a new spiritual video which is something i haven't done in a minute and i just recently discovered why i've always been quite familiar with the seven chakras but i have not looked into it in so long i kind of just forgot they existed and there were so many parts of my life that weren't making sense for example i've been feeling so out of alignment spiritually for a while and that's why i couldn't really make spiritual content um, so I was looking into that and whatever and I discovered that it's very likely that my crown chakra is blocked and then I just like dove into a hole and now here I am ready to talk about that because I feel like it's so important and a lot of us might feel like there are parts of our life that are just like out of alignment or missing something or don't we don't feel settled in and it could have to do with the fact that you have one or several chakras blocked and they're just like completely out of alignment and that is why you don't feel right so today we're going to talk about the seven chakras we're going to talk about what they represent what you might be feeling if you're off balance and some corresponding crystals to each one to help you heal them i also want to mention that if you're a super busy person you don't have time to meditate or like work on yourself which you should but if you don't right now that's okay then i do have now on my channel a seven chakra unblocking and healing like sound frequency video that you can play while you're working from home while you're studying while you're cooking play that I suggest earphones because then it really kind of like seeps into your brain and allow it to work its healing magic on you. So that video is up, it's free, it's on my channel, check it out, it's there. So I will link it down below. Also if you're new, subscribe, I post spiritual videos, I'm a little funny sometimes depending on the topic and I just, I don't know, I'm a very open, real and raw person so if you appreciate vulnerability authenticity and openness then follow my channel follow subscribe to my channel oh my god i'm acting like i just started youtube i've been on here for like 15 years anyways okay let's get started first off if you're familiar with my channel you will know that i like to read off the dictionary definition of things first so that i can kind of like make sure you know exactly what it is and then i like to simplify it or like dumb it down so let's get the definition of the seven chakras or like what they are what they symbolize okay so according to google it means wheel the word chakra means wheel and it refers to the energy points in your body they're thought to be spinning discs of energy that should stay open and aligned as they correspond to bundles of nerves major organs and areas of our energetic body that affect our emotional and physical well-being their origin can be traced to early hinduism and buddhism and both of them talked about the shifting nature of chakras so basically they're the seven centers of spiritual powers and they correspond to different organs in our body so you don't physically see them when you're like looking in the mirror however they are all along our body and i will talk about that as i get into each one and each one represents a different part of our like emotional physical mental like spiritual state when they're opened aligned and balanced we call that a flow state so if your seven chakras are all open you're flowing with life you're in a flow state which is a beautiful thing to be in okay so let's talk about them exciting Woo, fun. okay so let's talk about what they're called first we have our crown chakra we have our third eye we have our throat chakra we have our heart chakra we have our solar plexus our sacral and our root we're gonna start with our root because that is the first one it's stability it's grounding you know it's it's when you're sitting down it's what's connecting with the earth let's say you're sitting on the grass it's connecting with the earth it is the foundation so each chakra has a phrase that pretty much represents that energy point on your body so so starting with root the phrase is i am so the root chakra is located right over here it's red that's the color that represents it this chakra represents stability, a solid foundation. It represents security. So when you're looking to find stability in life, when you're looking to have a good foundation, you know, let's say your life is unstable and you don't know where you're gonna move every year and you're constantly moving house to house and switching jobs and you don't know where your life is going, it's very likely that this chakra is unbalanced, which is very important because again, this is the foundation. So you want to start with that one. If you're going to work on any of them, let's say that you feel like they're all unbalanced, start with this one. It'll make the rest easier. So when it's out of balance, you might feel a lot of anxiety. You might feel a lot of fear. You might feel just like afraid of change. And these are really big parts of your life. So these are definitely things that you want to work on. So with that, I suggest listening to, like I mentioned, the healing sound frequencies, but also you can get a crystal and help yourself heal that part heal that energy point so two super grounding stones are obsidian and black turmaline what i like to do is if i'm lying down let's say i'm reading i'm playing my nintendo switch i'm on my phone i just place it on the point right so 
your root chakra is down here kind of like I guess close to your pelvic area um, I just put a tourmaline right over there and I just let it do its thing I set the intention when I'm using my crystal and I just place it there I take a deep breath and I just relax into it I breathe into it and I imagine that the crystal is like infusing its healing energy into my body and I let it do its thing I listen to some music and I meditate on that or I just if I don't feel like meditating if I don't have time I just put it there simply just put it there and that really helps so moving on to the sacral chakra so this one is represented by the phrase I feel so it's located right here and the color associated with it is orange sacral is pretty much your creative energy and your sexual energy so if you're someone that is a very intimate person and a very sexual person and you find that it's very easy for you to connect sexually and intimately then it's likely that your sacral chakra is balanced and flowing however if you're feeling the opposite and you find that you know you lack a lot of um, sexuality or intimacy and you feel like it's hard to connect with other people or you have a creative block a lot of the times like just like that feeling where you can't write anything like writer's block or artist block whatever it is it's likely that it's unbalanced if there's no intimacy in your life or if you don't feel turned on by your partner or if you know you're having like sexual dysfunction it's very likely it's blocked as well and that's okay it explains a lot, doesn't it? Let's say you're someone who's normally a super sexual person and you find that like with your partner, like you're just not feeling it. Like you're just like thinking other things and when you're in the moment, you're just like, hmm, what am I gonna eat for dinner? Is this almost over? Look into healing and balancing your sacral chakra because it could make a lot of life changes for you. Look into unblocking your chakras. Like look into the sacral one and see what changes, you know? Some crystals I recommend, oh, I actually have one right here. <laughs> carnelian carnelian this is a really good one i'm telling you this is a good one you gotta get carnelian there was a moment where it was so hard to find because tiktok blew it up um but i think it's easier to find now so get you some carnelian some red jasper oh my god i almost dropped some red jasper some tiger's eye those are really good ones i suggest putting it in your pocket because it's really close to that area or you can just simply put it there um, if you're a man, you can put it in, you know the little boxer pockets? That'd be kind of cool. Um, you can wear a necklace, you don't have to place it on there, but it does help. So I suggest getting one of those crystals. And I will list all the crystals in the description box below so that you guys can just like come back to it. I definitely suggest healing that one because, you know, like if you're in a relationship, that's very, that's a very important and big part of your relationship. And if it's blocked, it could really be affecting your partner and you. So definitely look into it. So the next chakra is the solar plexus, and this one is represented by the phrase, I do. So this is your strength, your determination, your power. It's located right here in your body, and the color that represents it is yellow. Okay, so when your solar plexus is blocked, this is not a good thing for other people. This is one that really affects your relationships because it has a lot to do with like narcissistic tendencies, manipulation, power play, things like that. So if you find that you're like super arrogant on some type of high horse, manipulating other people and just like not like your usual self, it's very likely that your solar plexus is blocked. All of those things are kind of rooted in insecurity, to be honest. And when you're feeling insecure, you have a low self-esteem and maybe this isn't typically who you are. Maybe it is. Regardless, I definitely recommend looking into your solar plexus and healing that because honestly, this is one that affects you and your happiness and your well-being and the way that you treat other people. This is like a pleasure seeking one. So you want to feel good. And you know, when it's blocked, the things that make you feel good usually make other people feel like shit. When your solar plexus is aligned and balanced and flowing, you're typically a more confident person, but you're like a healthy type of confident. You want to help other people. You want to put people on things like that. You're spreading your energy and your aura in positive ways, not negative manipulative ways. And a really good crystal for this is citrine. This is a very happy, abundant, fulfilling crystal. Citrine is, I believe it's like a yellowy orangey, depending on what type of uh, crystal it is. Most times I see it's like an orangey color. It's a very pretty sparkling one. Just looking at it will make you happy. I definitely suggest looking into getting some citrine. You can wear it, you can put it on your body. What I like to do is I like to play the meditative music that I mentioned and I like to put the crystals on the corresponding points of my body. Also, by the way, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. I have a website now, ashleyfloresTV.com, it's linked down below, and I actually have a bundle of um, seven chakra crystals that if you want to purchase that, I have it available. So it's pretty affordable, free shipping, so check it out if you want, and you can buy like a bundled set. It's not the crystals that I'm mentioning in this video because there are many crystals that are associated with the seven points of your body. However, 
Um, these are like the more common, more popular ones that people do tend to go towards. So that's what I put on my website. So yeah, if you want to buy all seven in one, buy that and place them all on your body. Close your eyes, listen to some music, meditate, and it'll help. So yeah, again, citrine is a great one for this chakra. Next, the heart chakra. I love this one. This one is my favorite. So a phrase that represents this chakra is, I love, which is beautiful. I love that. So if you're feeling full of love and you're feeling abundant, you love yourself, you love others, your relationships are great, you're thriving, your friendships are thriving, it's very likely that your heart chakra is balanced and flowing. So if you're curious, I mean, you probably know where it is. This is where it is on your body. And the color that represents it is green, which is interesting. A lot of people don't really understand why it's not pink, but I mean, it's green. The crystal that corresponds to this point is rose quartz. There's many others. There's rose quartz, rondonite, fluorite, but, but rose quartz is the one that you want to get for sure. I have so many pieces of rose quartz, it's ridiculous. I usually, like when I used to wear bras, I would always put it in my bra because it's so close to that point and it's right over my heart. But yeah, so your heart chakra. This represents your love, your relationship, your self-acceptance, your love for yourself, and anything else that has to do with that. So self-love and lack of self-love could mean, you know, no self-discipline, no self-respect, neglecting your self-care habits, things like that. So when you're feeling that, or when you feel like your relationships are out of balance, or maybe things aren't so great with your romantic partner, your friendships are getting toxic, you're getting toxic with other people, it's very likely that your heart chakra is blocked. And you don't want that. This is another very important one. I mean, they're all important, but this is super important because it affects your self-worth and how you see yourself. And if you don't have the self-love and you don't have your heart chakra balanced, you might not give a shit about all of your other seven points and, and you might neglect your entire being as a whole. So I suggest focusing on your heart. Some ways you can do that is just by easy self-care, um, things like setting boundaries, choosing yourself every day, making good choices, and just treating yourself and others with love and respect. Even if it doesn't feel natural at first, eventually it will. All right, next is the throat chakra, which is guess where, your throat. And the phrase that represents this chakra is I speak, which is interesting. I mean. It makes sense. Color that represents it is blue. This is where it is on your body. So this is expression, inspiration, communication. If you're someone that is really bad at communicating or you have a hard time communicating or maybe it's just lately you've been having a hard time communicating, it's probably blocked. This also has to do with things like social anxiety, um, shyness, being scared of other people, being scared to communicate, public speak get on YouTube and talk. This could have to do with your throat chakra being blocked. Because when it's in a flow state, these things don't concern you as much because you have more confidence in yourself. You feel more aligned with yourself. You trust that you can communicate to others. You trust that you can speak clearly, you know? So if it's blocked, it will really affect you and how you speak to other people and you know how you carry yourself and how you communicate. If you find yourself to be shy or distant, it could be blocked. I remember one time, oh my God, it was so crazy. I was in college and I had just like some issues making friends and just like presenting things like that because I was in a very collaborative program I was in business management so anyways I was like let me heal my throat chakra so I listened to this healing meditation online I forget who it was or some random one and I used a piece of aquamarine it looked like this actually and I actually just put it on my throat and I listened to the meditation for about 35 minutes and I remember my whole throat was like vibrating it was like pulsing it felt ice cold it was crazy crazy okay and I was just sitting there like feeling it and I wanted to open my eyes because I was kind of scared I was like what the fuck is happening I was like no nah, I'm gonna let it do its thing so I did and then after the meditation I felt like whoa that felt weird and then I had a dream that night that I was throwing up for like hours bro the dream was so long and I was just like throwing up and I hadn't thrown up in like 10 years like I, it's not something that I do so I was just like eh, like throwing up everywhere in the dream and as I was throwing up I, it felt ice cold it like like it did when I was meditating it felt ice cold and I was just throwing up throwing up throwing up, throwing up and then I woke up and I felt like a brand new person I was talking to people I was presenting with confidence I was you know I was good and I remember this one person came up to me a stranger came up to me that day this is back when I didn't really like talking to strangers and I was having such a good conversation I actually forgot that I did the meditation because I did it at night and then I fell asleep so I forgot and then at the end of the day I was like oh my god the throat chakra meditation fucking worked it was so crazy 
it was so crazy and it's actually weird that i'm filming this because i i actually had a video a video i had a dream last night that i was throwing up and the last time i had a dream that i was throwing up was that time i didn't work on my throat chakra last night or anything um i didn't even meditate yesterday but i had that dream and i wonder if it has anything to do with that maybe like maybe i should um you know unblock it maybe it's it happened in the dream i don't know but i did have a dream about that so it's really weird that we're talking about this because i just remembered my dream but yeah so very important that you work on this because it will affect your day-to-day -day life trust me I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it's important it's important work on all seven okay they're all important they're equally important honestly i keep saying one's more important than the next but then i talk about the next one and i'm like mm, but this is the one work on all of them okay so the next one is third eye and a phrase that represents this one is i see which makes sense it is your third eye so this one is located over here pretty much like above your brows i guess you could say so your third eye has to do with your intuition so if you're typically a very intuitive person you can predict things you can feel people's energies things of that sort and like lately you're like i don't know anything about anything like you know and you just feel off and you feel like you're not really seeing shit the way you used to or predicting things or you're not as intuitive your third eye is blocked and this is a really important one <laughs> they're all important but this is you know a really important one because this is your ability to see things for what they are and that can really protect you in a lot of situations for example let's say you're on a first date and this guy is no good no bueno and you meet him and you're like hmm, he seems nice but like in reality he's a piece of shit and he's manipulative and a narcissist normally you would pick up on that but because your third eye is blocked you might just like see what he's showing you and believe that with your third eye i see you need to see clearly for what things are you need to use your intuition so it's very important so with this one if it's balanced and flowing you're very imaginative you're very intuitive you have great foresight but if it's off balance you feel like you don't have a sense of direction like you just like have a lack of direction in life like you don't know where you're going you don't know what's next you don't trust yourself you don't trust that you can make the right decisions you don't have clarity it's a heavy one it's one that's really hard to navigate through your life without clarity is very important it's very important you need that and when you can't see things clearly it'll kind of fuck you up so if you need help with that amethyst this is the one there are a few that correspond but get amethyst get some amethyst it's in the bundle this is a very important one place it on your third eye close your eyes take a deep breath meditate you know and just listen to some audios whatever whether it's mine whether it's another one from youtube and allow it to do its healing magic on you because this one definitely definitely needs to be opened i remember i opened my third eye actually um the first time i meditated so i mean as a kid and stuff i meditated but i didn't know i was meditating like i'd stare at the water and reflect for like an hour i didn't know i was meditating but i was but the first time i intentionally meditated was when i was graduating high school it was like 2012 20, 2013 and I listened to this guided meditation again. I used to love those. I don't really listen to them anymore, but I used to love them. And I took a piece of amethyst and I put it on my forehead and I listened to the audio and I opened my third eye that day. It was the most insane experience I've ever felt. Um, I literally felt like somebody was pushing the amethyst into my forehead and like as if it was like becoming a part of my brain. I don't know how to explain it. And then I felt like a pulsing and an opening. I felt like as if my i didn't know how to explain without sounding crazy i felt as if my third eye like my skin was literally opening because i felt like cold air on it as if it was open and then it just felt like this crazy like black hole vibe i don't know it felt like it was opening it was a crazy like meditative trance that i was in after i experienced that and the meditation finished i slowly opened my eyes from that day i swear to you from that day my intuition was crazy it was crazy i was predicting things i was thinking songs they'd play i would think of someone i'd see them I, my intuition was insane i was so good at reading people and from that day like i just felt like suddenly i'd like tuned into this, this like weird psychic ability that's also around the time that i started having psychic dreams i have psychic dreams i don't have them often anymore i have them like twice a year but i have them and they're crazy and i predict a lot of things and it's kind of scary it's kind of scary but yeah i started having psychic dreams around that time in my life it was wild it was, it was crazy lastly your crown chakra phrase that represents this one is i understand you understand i just looked at the time randomly and it's 1 11. and it's funny because this one <laughs> it, it 1 11 has everything to do with this because 
this chakra is pretty much everything to do with spirituality and divine connection. Divine connection is your connection to your ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels. And who do you think shows you these angel numbers? 1, 11, 11, 11, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, you know? It's your angels, your guardian angels, your archangels, you know? Your spirit guides, they're showing you these numbers. What do you think guides you to pick up your phone at that time and be like, oh, what's the time? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, you know? It's them. It's like, we're here. Don't worry. We're surrounding you. You're on the right path. We're with you. That's what it is. So right as I'm talking about divine connection and the crown chakra, it's 1, 11. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in divine timing. Anyways, so this one is over here on the body. The color that represents it is a deep indigo or like a light purple. Both the third eye and the crown are similar colors. It's like purpley blue, you know, different shades. But um, yeah, so this one is I understand. This one has everything to do, again, with divine connection. So this is your higher consciousness. When this is off balance, which I think mine has been, um, those are the moments when you feel out of spiritual alignment. You don't have the motivation to meditate, you don't feel connected to your spirit guides, you don't see angel numbers as often, you don't feel like your guardian angels around you, 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 you do tarot readings and they're not resonating. Those are signs of your crown being blocked. You don't feel spiritual, you don't have motivation. These are really important to people like us. I'm assuming if you're watching my channel, you're spiritual, so this is something that you're going to want. So you should definitely work on this one. <laughs> definitely work on this one. Work on them all, like I said, but yeah, like it's like I was wondering why am I so out of alignment? Why do I feel like, you know, I can't even connect with my spirit guides? I haven't even been able to find my tarot cards. I don't know why. I haven't been able to find them. I think it's just because I'm out of alignment and they're not going to serve their purpose right now. So I'm going to be healing my crown chakra because it's important to me. So yeah, when you feel like you're out of spiritual alignment and you just like cannot, cannot get yourself to care about your spirituality, it's very likely that your crown is blocked. So focus on that. And a crystal that corresponds to that one is amethyst as well, but I would suggest a clear quartz or a selenite. I really like selenite. That would be my go-to for my crown. You can buy that anywhere. Um, it's available at any spiritual shop. I also have like a seven chakra selenite wand on my website. So, oh my God, there's so much promo in this video. I'm so sorry, but yeah, check out AshleyFloresTV.com, linked below if you want to just take a look through the products that I have that might help you in this spiritual journey. So yeah, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was simple enough for people that are just getting into spirituality. I hope that it helped. If it did, let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. Like, what chakra of yours do you think is blocked? Like I said, I think my crown is blocked. Like, what are you guys going through? I'm curious to know. Maybe we can share tips with each other. I don't know. If you have any suggestions for me, feel free to let me know. But I do hope that this helped and I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you feel like checking out my socials, do that. Everything is linked down below as usual. And um, yeah. Oh, I also have worksheets now. I have worksheets and workbooks. Those are linked down below on my website or on my Etsy, whatever you prefer to use as, um, you know, the, the purchase point. Choose. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, enough promo. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.